hello everyone and in my last video I have shown the unboxing of lifestyle v25 Bose home theater system today I'm going to show you a small video about how to set it up I mean after setting it up in my room so it comes with uh, five speakers and a woofer so here goes my left rear channel speaker so I set it up on a stand this is a cheap stand you will get uh, by 25 or 26 dollar for two stands and this is the connection the red and black cable and in this is the direct reflecting technology speaker so the lower speaker is the direct one and the upper speaker is the reflecting one so I tilted the upper speaker a little bit towards the wall and the similar thing I'm going to do with the rear right channel speaker tilted the upper one towards the wall and bring it a little bit front so standing in the back end this will be my rear left and this will be my rear right now let's move to the first three channels but I'm sorry to say that I don't have any television with me right now so this system has been set up to play iPod and etc and uh, hilariously I don't have wall mounting for the front three channels so I get it on the box and all this is front right channel here on the table it goes in the center channel it's a little bit longer one and here goes the front left channel and now let come to the woofer the LFE channel all the five cables coming from each of the five speakers got connected at the button which are clearly color tagged and these two cables are nothing but one going to the power point and another one going to the control system so and this is all the mess and the jungle of the cables and here goes the main console unit let me remove the cloth the cable coming from the low low frequency I mean the woofer is getting connected to the back point this is an antenna you can use it for FM and AM which I have just casually hanged on my curtain and this is the iPod dock and these two cables are RC cable so that I can connect any mp3 player or iPod or anything to my system and I forgot to tell you that in the main console unit there is a front window with which you can use the left and R RC cable that I have used at the back the same thing you can use here also the composite uh, signal input the yellow cable and the basic buttons from the remote are also present here like power button source selection button mute volume up and down and setup there are one HDMI input port and one USB input port the USB input port is basically used to update the software of the system which can be downloaded from the uh, Bose website and they have also provided a small USB uh, pin drop sort of thing and here goes the HDMI cable to connect your system to uh, like a television or some external source this is the remote I have covered it with the plastic and there's a power button if you press the power button you will see the red light here will turn green after a couple of seconds so let's press it here I'm pressing and now the light started blinking from red to green till it will blink it means that it is being initialized and soon it will be ready for use here you go okay so the system is set now now I want to show you how to play an iPhone or iPod through the iPod dock okay so here goes my iPhone I'm going to connect it with my dock as soon as I connect it the power will on and it will show whatever the music I was playing there and now how to select the source 
That is the interesting thing of the Unify system that Bose has offered. In the remote, I'm not sure if I can make you show it, but I'll try. If you click the source button, it will show you the name of the source. I am having TV, FM, AM, and iPod. So TV means I can use the RC cable to play any MP3 player or even iPod by connecting with the 3.5 mm jack and pressing down FM means it will switch on the FM of local channels and oh my God. so FM has been started let me slow down I'm sorry the FM was started let's click source once again then switch it down to AM I'm not going to listen to AM iPod then select the center it will select the iPod now it is playing whatever was there on my iPod see and also you can listen to I mean you can see the music name which is being played on the iPod in the display now if you want to change the music just click this button see I'm pressing once again and it is changing the music it's a Kenny J instrumental hope you will like it after hours heart and soul album and if you click the iPod now it will just show you that accessory connected so you can't see the playlist or you can't do anything through the iPod you have to control the iPod through your remote or better if you have a television or LCD you can see the whole display of the iPod the music list the playlist everything on your TV and you can uh, by, by using the remote change whatever you're going to listen so from the center let me show you once again there is a rear left sorry it's a rear right I'm confused it's the rear left front left the center and there are the teeny small front right channels and giving a loud sound right now my volume is just about 34 so you can imagine if I make it more than 50 it will blow the home off the best way to configure is stand in the center so that you are a little bit closer than I mean uh, compared to the center channel you are a little bit closer to the back channels because the back channel provides the sound only when the recording is having six channels and Bose Home Theater has got a video stage 5 codec which will decode the signal coming from the source especially Blu-ray or DVD source and it will give you all the six channel enabled sound so here goes the remote once again this is my messy room and all the setup uh, initially I don't I mean if you don't have TV you won't be able to set it up properly so I borrowed the TV from my friend I set it up and then I returned the TV to him and without TV you can play it whatever you want to do by just looking at the remote that's all keep listening thank you for watching bye